These are the items you'll need for preparing the HCG or human chorionic gonadotrophin for the Anlos Institute HCG weight loss program. Inside the box are two containers, one containing the powder, the green one, and the second, the light blue, is the bacteriostatic water. I like to use the 3cc syringe, though you'll need to do it three separate times for this. Opening, peel back, take the syringe out, and you can pop the top off. This is sterile now. The second time through, if you need to, you can wipe it. I use this 3C syringe. You can actually draw air back into it beforehand. It'll make it easier to come out. Enter into the top, inject the water in, and then draw it back. By the injecting of the air, it does make it come a little easier. And draw out about 3 cc's. Next, this is the powdered form. Take it and put it directly in through the center and rotate the vial as you slowly inject with the other hand. That's the first time through. Now, the second time through, you can use an alcohol sponge, drawing the air up, injecting in. Again, that just makes it easier to draw the water back a little more quickly. Rotating as you inject. And then you complete this using the entire volume. So the entire amount that's in this, we use the entire amount to fill into the powder. These are the uh, insulin syringes I like to use. They're the 3 tenth cc, 0.8 millimeter, 31 gauge needle. They're very small. Remove the cap and then remove the second. Since this has just come out of the refrigerator, since it's just come out of the refrigerator, it's a good idea to wipe it down with alcohol or a piece of uh, tissue soaked in alcohol. Go right in the center. Try to stay right in the center and pull back. You're going to do initially on this, you're only going to, you're going to go to the 20 mark and that will be um, for the first part, the second phase, you'll go to the 30 mark. So right now we're just starting the therapy, you're going to go only to the 20 mark. Alright, to do the injection, you wipe the area with an alcohol sponge. Again, you could be soap and water. Take the needle, it's again a very small needle, go directly into the skin, maybe out of a little angle, and push directly. You do not need to aspirate because it's very just in the fat. Pull that immediately out. If it's bleeding, you can wipe it. Most time it is not. When you're done, you do not have to put the cap back on. You could just throw the cap and the needle directly in there. Other people will use like a, um, a milk carton, a milk jug, that would be fine too. Uh, and then store all those and you can either bring them back or bring them to your local health department. Whenever you're finished injecting, Go ahead and place this back in the refrigerator, not in the freezer, uh, often in with the butter and that cheese area so that it's not frozen, and then you can use it the next time around. Uh, that's best to do that since this process goes about 42 days.